go, they can tag you. Well, right? Bob, now I get why the point of view is so So this is literally way. sort of an upside down mirror image in the real world. And Dante is on his way, hard on his way to confront another people. Um, one of the things we have added, <clears throat> this time is a little light uh, platforming and uh, some environment manipulation using uh, Dante's angel and demon abilities. There are the gauntlets, by the way, which can be used to smash guys as well as break through the objects and create new paths. Smash through floors. This is the uh, angel uh, lift, which all of Dante's mechanics have. Combat uses, environment manipulation uses, light puzzle uses. It's a very sort of integrated control set where everything can sort of perform a function. So if he uses it, he's going to pull enemies to him. He's going to ready to look. And he can, there, he's trying, there he goes. He's going to smack him around. Use the demon stomp with the gauntlets to deal massive damage once you have him down. Uh, the player here is using some of the heavier weapons first to soften him up, to break the shield, to break him down. He's impervious to the lighter weapons in the beginning of the battle, but once you've wounded him, taking him down the peg, using the heavier ones, he becomes susceptible to just about any weapon in Dante's arsenal. Uh, this idea of having specific enemies that are vulnerable to specific attacks or specific types of weapons was something that is obviously key in the franchise. Forces you not to just wait and mash buttons randomly when you sort of have to think.